Welcome back to Teach Man to Fish channel. Today's video, Monument Grills has sent us another grill to look at. And it just so happens it's one of their top of the line pro models, six burner. And we're gonna get into the characteristics, the changes. They're just releasing some improvements to this model. I can't wait to, to put this together and show you what it looks like. Let's go ahead and get started. We won't actually show you the putting together of the grills. We'll fast forward through that. Monument Grills does a great job of showing you how to put the grills together. So we're not even gonna waste the time showing that. It is soul sucking music that comes with these videos, but heck, that's what a volume button is for. You'll also notice that they're wearing cut resistant gloves. There are reports of sharp metal. That's a consequence of pretty much all sheet metal fabrication. I didn't have a problem, I didn't run into it, but again, there's reports of it. Hey, their screwdriver even looks like mine. We'll put a link down below where you can go to this assembly video. Let's go ahead and we'll fast forward to this real quick. This is the third one of these grills I've put together and they are a piece of cake. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you me for a second. Grab that little blue, blue thing. I, I don't feel anything shocking me, but I hear it. Put, I, put your tongue right there on that. <laughs> I hear it shocking me. First thing I want to talk about is the sear function on this grill. Doing a reverse sear on this is quite a bit of fun. It comes with probes that give you the temperature, and we did do a verify with one of our most trusted thermometers, and jumping over, pick your temperature. We like to stop right around 125, 128 degrees, then jump on the sear, and this sear function does awesome on the side. This sear is a full sensory delight. You've got the sound of the sizzle, the appearance of the flames, the smell of the searing happening right there before your eyes is a great part of the experience with this cook. I know this is going to creep some of you out, but if you're partial to Pittsburgh black and blue, you can achieve this in this sear function. It's a great way to cook. It's virtually raw in the center with a blackened exterior. The taste is unique. Those of you who know, know. I know there's some of you cavemen out there just like me. Mm. Now let's talk about the epic size of this grill. Everyone's looking at you for their culinary delights and you've got to have the space to feed a crowd. This grill delivers. They've also upgraded the lighting on this grill a little bit. It's now sensitive to where you are in the heat process or how high the flame is. The LEDs both change from red to orange as well as the dial lights up and down based on what temperature you're going after. So you may ask yourself why is this important or is this gimmicky? Well I can tell you this, between the glass and the LED lighting across the front, at a glance you can both look in and know where you're at in the grill and temperature. This helps prevent flare-ups and burning. Something else you're going to love about this grill is this pull out or slide out tank holder. The anchor, the latch that holds it into place, the durability of the construction, it's just nice. Everyone knows the struggle is real when you're trying to lift that full tank in and out of the slot that it sits in if you don't have this slide out drawer. This grill is no different than all the others. It comes with this great monument grill 
grease trap system. Easy to use, we do line it with foil to make cleanup a little bit easier. When you look at this grill, you'll see all the stainless steel construction that goes into it. There's some cast aluminum on the sides. It is a durable. Stable, well built grill. It even cleans up well. This is pollen season out here. And we've had to repeatedly wipe this down as the pollen, the pine pollen, just flows in this area of Virginia. We've thoroughly enjoyed the construction that goes into this. Even the lid, the lid is solid and durable. You'll like how this is built. Now let's take a second and talk about this infrared sear burner that's inside on the regular grill deck. You've got an incredible amount of flexibility in aftermarket functions that you can bring to bear on this and it just adds that one additional interesting way that you can cook on this the sear function on the deck is just another great technique for you to learn to use and learn how to cook on i actually don't have all the accessories yet that come for this variable position on the grill, although I hope to in the future, so make sure you come back. There's other functions that we'll focus in on, like rotisserie and those accessories. There is something that you need to keep in mind with this grill. With the size of it and the BTUs that run through it, it uses some propane, so be prepared to have a spare tank around and even use more than what you're used to in a smaller grill. There is one other bit of feedback that I'll give. It feels, compared to the other Monument grills that I have, it feels like the dials are a little bit cheaper. There's nothing wrong with them. They just feel different. So if you're listening Monument grills, watch these dials. I wouldn't take them too much further backwards. So in summation, what do I think of this grill? I think you need to know what you're getting into. It is a good, it's a huge size grill. You've got to have a reason to have something this large. Otherwise, other grills in the Monument Grill series may be a better fit for you. Construction, again, Monument Grill does a great job in building grills. They, the price point is perfect in competition with Weber, but half the cost. Overall, you want to hear it from me? Two thumbs up from Teach a Man to Fish. So YouTube says that this video is perfect for your viewing habits. This is my latest upload, and over here is a playlist you might just enjoy. I hope you liked it. If you did, please click like, subscribe, share, and come on back for more.